Hi, I'm Jan Shegda. Today we're talking about Enneagram Style 6 Social Variant. This video is by request, so just as a reminder, if there's a question you have, a topic you'd like some more information on, or um, just want me to do a video about something, get in touch with me and I'll be happy to put something together for you. I can be found via Facebook, Twitter, my YouTube channel, my website, myclaritycoaching.com. Um, those are the main ways. So it'd be great to hear from you and what you'd like to know. Today we're going to be talking about Enneagram Style 6, the social variant. If you want an overview of Enneagram Style 6, check out my video, Enneagram 6, sexual variant. I do um, an overview of what it means to be a 6 on that video. Today, though, we're going to talk about the social variant, and let's recap first what the three variants are and what they mean. No matter what Enneagram style you are, you have all three of these variants, but one of them is dominant. So when we say style six social variant, what we mean really is that the social variant is the strongest of the three. The other two are self-preservation and sexual, and I think it's helpful to think of them almost in a percentage um, or a range. So you might say I'm 70% social, 20% self-pres, 10% sexual. Um, I think that can help just kind of not be so dualistic about it. Um, generally speaking, the self-preservation variant is about the environment, the physical environment and the physical body, and they're attuned to issues around comfort. Um, social variants are interested in the community, evolutionary survival of the species, um, power and influence, and they tend to notice hierarchy and political power. Sexual variants um, tend to notice intensity and where there's juice or um, a crackle in the environment, so to speak, something that's um, attractive or exciting, and they're oriented towards intensity and depth. So today we'll talk about what it means and how sixes look a little bit different from the other variants when they're a social variant dominant. So the six who's about security and stability when their social variant is dominant and they're also about community and um, hierarchy, this combines to make a six who's very much about the rules um, even more so than other sixes, learning, okay, what's the right way to think? What's my, what's my correct theology? What's the right way for me to be the best parent I can be? How can I be the best employee? How can I be the best leader? So they put a lot of energy into understanding life and understanding the world and um, constructing these logical, almost to-do lists or manuals of how to live, and then they go and implement that. Um, they're one of the most consistent of the, of the sixes, so they can sometimes look like ones, self-preservation ones, um, and they can, if you know the Myers-Briggs, they can remind you of being someone that prefers the judging preference, someone that's highly J. So um, what else about social variant sixes? Um, sometimes it's helpful to think about the, the passion of the types and how the variant affects that. So the passion of the six or the kind of the Achilles heel for style six is fear or anxiety. So the way that comes through in the social variant six is fear, certainly in the social environment of saying something wrong, of doing something countercultural or something that's going to leave them, lose them political power. Any social variant would fear those things, but specifically the six is also going to fear instability, um, not, not having that manual, not knowing the right answer to a question, not just a question question, but um, one of those kind of the, the things of life that you need to know. So how to be a good leader, a parent, um, the best way to handle your finances. So... If they don't have things together and their um, mental constructs together around that, it's very anxiety provoking. So what they need most from us, um, if you're anything like me, when you're confronted with someone that's pretty, uh, pretty solid on everything they believe and has a well thought out argument, you may be tempted to poke holes in things. Well, have you thought about this or how does it look in this situation or have you considered 
you know, when this happens, that's actually, might surprise you to learn, not that constructive. So um, the best thing you can do is ask follow-up questions like, oh, that's interesting that you believe that or that you think that way. What experiences have you had that lead you to believe that? Um, it's really helpful and important for social variant sixes to come back to their own personal experience and their own knowing, not just um, mentally how they've worked something out. And that's actually the suggestion for development for social variant sixes as well, is come back to your other senses, not just your, your brain and your logic and pro and con lists. Um, what are you experiencing emotionally? What are you experiencing in your body and kind of instinctually? and use those sources of information as ways to figure out how to navigate life. So that's the overview of social variant sixes. If there's any follow-up questions to that, please let me know. Otherwise, see you next time.